Hey, I work. Go ahead. I work with Field of Biotechnologies. We're based in Baltimore, Maryland. So I'm going to tell you about a home-based urine malaria test. Great. Go ahead. Uh, it's a very simple test, as simple as ABC. So if you imagine a mother in a remote village in any part of the world, and whose child is sick, he's having a running a fever, he doesn't know whether the fever is due to malaria or some other disease. Now what this test does is actually to rule in or rule out malaria for them. It's a simple test that looks that looks in real life very much like this. Uh, the mother requires only a teaspoon of urine from the child, dips this in the teaspoon of urine, allows it 15 minutes to dry. If a single line appears on the strip, it's not malaria. If two lines appear on the strip, it's malaria. Now, what this does is that it prevents the mother from traveling to a, a clinic, gets there, maybe there's no electricity, and then they have to wait uh, till the electricity comes back before they can run a test to tell the mother that, you know what, your child has malaria. So she can already do this at home um, and just really seek medicine to treat the child rather than trying to find out what's wrong. How much does each test cost well, in volume? We do not yet know how, this, how much this will cost to the final consumer. However, it's going to be much cheaper than what we have right now. All the comparable tests now are based on blood draw, which includes such costs as the needle, the syringe, uh, the chemicals, slides of prepared for microscope, the microscope, electricity, and so on and so forth. All those ancillary costs are all off, and then you only have something that you can do at home at no other cost. What's the number of percent false positive, false negative? So this is the first generation prototype. We are now actually getting ready to validate the second prototype with the U.S. Army at the Army facility in Kenya, Water Reed. Uh, in the first validation, it was actually 94% sensitivity. In other words, if people were actually positive for malaria, it was able to say that 94% of the time. Accurate. Now we also have some specificity numbers. In, in other words, if somebody doesn't have malaria but is running a fever, it can say that only 91% of the time. So we have done the initial testing and that showed 94% sensitivity, 91% specificity. In other words, the accuracy of the test is above 90%. Great. Yes. And what's your next step? Well, our next step is we are now finalizing the production of the second prototype. Uh, we have the clinical protocols ready. We are waiting water read Army uh, Institute uh, IRB approval and also Kenya IRB approval to start testing the second prototype, after which we start a full, full clinical trial. Great. Yes. Okay.